Well, good morning, everybody. Just another beautiful day here on Round Lake. About 8.40 in the morning. And I'm just uh, communing with God. Yeah, so this week uh, we're going to be discussing things like uh, nihilism and existentialism. And, and then the, the thing I want to really look at is, honestly, the hidden worldviews within the worldview. Because, honestly, nihilism kind of goes like this. It comes, you think about it, you think about, uh, like, Christian theism is an open system. Um, it's one where an entity like God uh, actually interacts with his people. Then you move to deism, which is more of a closed system where you have an entity, a God, that created everything and then just sits back and watches it. Uh, there's an old analogy of a clockmaker. He makes the clock, he puts it together, he winds the clock, he sets the clock, and he sets it up on the mantle and just watches the clock tick. That's, I don't even know if that's a good analogy of deism, but that's, that's one. And then if you, uh, you go down that road, you kind of end up in a, another closed system of scientific naturalism, which, as we all know, it, it, comes, it comes from the enlightened, Enlightenment era of, of uh, evolution and, and uh, dispensations of time and and uh, we ended up processing from primordial ooze and we're nothing more than a chemical reaction you know da -da 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 -da. that that one which if you take that far enough down nihilism it's an interesting thing it's a it goes kind of like this I don't know if the person I'm talking to actually exists or if it's a dream I'm having. So I don't know if they're real. And then you dig, dig a little deeper and you go, gee, I don't know. Maybe I'm in their dream. Maybe I'm not real. Maybe nothing actually exists. Uh, movies like The Matrix come out of nihilism. Uh, as the book said one of my very favorites was Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, Douglas Adams. He uh, he uses it in, in in that book. And so uh, so you're going down through this stuff, and then then you end up in existentialism. You know Descartes, right? I think, therefore I am. So it's a it's a correction to nihilism type of thing. And, uh, but, but the thing of it is, is, you know, as we walk through all of this stuff, a lot of this stuff, some of this stuff actually kind of falls within, say, even Christian theism, um, or Christianity, you know, these things kind of fall into that. You can, you can be an existential Christian. Um, you can, you can start going down the nihilism road. Even though you're professing the Christian faith, um, and then you've got all these other ones like nationalism, right? Right. I like how the book says, uses that. You might be a nationalist if, you know. Uh, Mark Twain once said, "When you when you find yourself on the side of ma the majority, it's time to reflect, and uh, just to see if if you're going along for the ride or or." If that's what you truly believe. And so, I mean, this week, as we look through all of these things, let's, uh, let's take a moment and, and pause and go, I wonder how some of these hidden worldviews are affecting the worldview that I'm having right now. You know? And uh, am, I, am I so busy in my life that I'm... I'm not even really reflecting and, and contemplating what it is I, I truly believe because that becomes what it is I truly am. Um, and, and work from that aspect 
you know, I, uh, we've got so much going on. I also teach conflict resolution strategies and, and so much of this falls into that. And so as you're going through the week, I hope you're having a good week. I hope that, uh, I hope you're enjoying the class. I know there's been some struggles with, with the transition to Canvas and everything else. And, and honestly, I'm even looking at uh, my little thing for Allie with uh, the, the, the two different creeds from 325 and 381. Um, because if I, if I go on my uh, syllabus and I click the, the button on the syllabus, it brings up the original creeds. But I kind of noticed that I'm not sure. I have to take a better look at it. I was working uh, chaplaincy at the Y was really busy this week. So I, I was kind of flipping between stuff and, and sending quick emails. I got to look to make sure I there may be a a copy and paste issue that I did when I was making up that other one. So uh, I'll take a look. You know, I'm not above mistakes. I, I get it. And so... Uh, I give you guys grace. I uh, hope you're having a great day. And uh, let's have some great discussions. I look forward to them. Okay, bye.